I noticed a lot of people that like physics and engineering usually gravitates towards mechanical engineering for some reason or they don't know which to go with physics or mechanical engineering. So in this video I'll give you some vital points to put into consideration when you find yourself in this position. In my opinion you can't go wrong with any of them whether you go with physics or mechanical engineering just depending on you. For example in physics it has been said that after you graduate you need a master's or a PhD to really get better jobs. But in mechanical engineering, with a degree, you're good to go. So let's start with mechanical engineering. This is the Wikipedia definition. Mechanical engineering is an engineering branch that combines engineering physics and mathematics principles with material science to design, analyze, manufacture, and maintain mechanical systems. Simply put, mechanical engineers deal with anything that moves. So they need to understand the laws of mechanics, the laws of thermodynamics, how forces act on solids and liquids, the properties of engineering materials, and how heat flows through matter. You notice all the things I mentioned above are things that physicists actually understand. This is to show you the importance of physics. So let's get into it. Physics is a science that studies the way nature works. Physics generates knowledge for technological advances. An example of this is the invention of the transistor, a discovery that won the Nobel Prize in 1956. Without transistors, you won't be looking at me right now. Without transistors, we won't have smartphones and computers. Also, physicists specialize in areas such as quantum computing, astrophysics, astronomy, nuclear physics, biomechanics, robotics, and other fields too numerous to mention. You see, both groups have a good understanding of complicated mathematics and scientific concepts. So let's look at them side by side. You see, mechanical engineering is more practical, I would say, than physics, because mechanical engineers are the ones that actually bring the inventions of physics physicists actually into like reality like the example of the transistor i gave way back it's not physicists that make phones laptops but they created parts of it that the engineers used to create products like uh, for example x-rays was discovered by physicists you know the sequencing of the dna molecules was done by physicists now it's been applied to further advanced technology like for example, laser, it was discovered by physicists, now we we'll use it in our, in, in our inventions and all. Next, going for a career in physics is actually wider than going for a career in mechanical engineering. Physics is very wide to the extent that you can fit in almost any sector that, not even almost, all the places where a mechanical engineer can work a physicist can actually go and work there for some reason but if you look at it mechanical engineering is more defined mechanical engineering rules are more defined you know you can be a mechanical engineer a structural engineer you can be a maintenance engineer like more defined but for a physicist there are a lot of roles that they can fit into a lot of sectors then physicists usually work in the university in you know in the physics lab mostly Meanwhile, mechanical engineers are more large scale. They are not confined to the size of the physics lab. It is more large scale. They work in companies, you know, industries. Now let's move on to their careers. Mechanical engineers work in many fields and encounter a wide range of opportunities. If you study mechanical engineering, you might find yourself working in these fields. First, we have the automotive industry. There are a lot of roles for mechanical engineers in this industry. Like for example, you can be a design engineer, you can be involved in designing the car parts, even the engine and the car itself. Next, mechanical engineers can go into the energy sector where they can be involved in finding solutions for climate change. They can also go into biotechnology, robotics, manufacturing and so much more. Now let's move on to physics. With a Bachelor of Degree in Physics, Students can pursue careers in research and development, science and engineering, education, and even the military. 
it's important you understand the career options you have as a physics major these are common job titles for physics degree holders we have technical specialist high school physics teacher lab technician optical engineer laser engineer research associate systems analyst applications engineer design engineer and so much more now it's down to which one to choose there are different routes to go into you can go into the research route or the engineering route i call it you can decide with either physics or me mechanical engineering to go into research for physics after you study you can go for your masters on, and even your phd you can work as a research associate in, the, in your university you can try to be a professor later on though that takes a lot of time or if you on the mechan if you're on the mechanical engineering side you can quickly start building your career after university just think about all this think about the steps that follow after you graduate which one are you okay with do you want are you into academia do you want to be a lecturer do you want to be at the university or do you want to be with companies you know doing groundbreaking research because because there are a lot of companies that do their own research the r d right research and development just think about all that as you go ahead with all the information that you have pick what's best for you i wish you the best Thank you for watching i hope you learned something today don't forget to hit the like button and if you like content like this subscribe signing off now see you on the next one